So I'm making some pretty bold claims here that a whole food plant-based diet can reverse these diseases. Well, the scientists in me, and I would assume in you, would say, well, come on, how does that happen? Well, there's magic and kale, I don't know, actual, uh, that kind of magic, rabbit out of the hat magic, but powerful effects. So let's have a look. Why and how does a whole food plant-based diet help to reverse these diseases? Well, first of all, here we are back and the person's eating the standard Western diet and meal after meal, they're running the whole red tide through their tissues, especially the meat-based ones, because most folks have a piece of meat with every meal. And we see the disrupting effects that all these, uh, these uh, molecules have in the body. Well, as soon as one goes to a whole food plant-based diet, as soon as one decides to choose the bean chili instead of the beef chili. You know, that's the whole great sacrifice we're asking people to make. And the bean chili tastes just as good as the beef chili. Uh, and, uh, but, and, and all that is implied by that, where you have a choice, go for the plant-based option. As soon as you choose the plant-based option, the first and most profound thing happens is all these toxic, disrupting, chaotic, uh, generating the molecules, poof, they're gone the onslaught stops. Now the body can take a breath, so to speak, and get on with real tissue repair because we have powerful mechanisms in every one of our cells, every one of our tissues to repair damage. So first of all, you allow tissue healing to happen. Then the profound biochemical changes that you have now created by going from an animal-based diet to a plant-based diet start having their effect. <clears throat> Excuse me. First of all, it's a high water content diet. There's a lot of water in the soups and the salads and the fruits and the steamed veggies. And all that water, first of all, it flushes through your tissues. It's like taking your cells to the car wash and it helps flush out a lot of the accumulated disruptive molecules that, you know, that pile up in the cells over time. But also all that water in the bloodstream makes the blood less viscous. It flows more easily. The blood isn't so thick, and the uh, now this now more free flowing blood flows through the arteries, and all the dark leaf, green leafy vegetables help the artery walls generate nitric oxide, and that makes the blood vessel, the arteries, dilate just a little bit, but they open up. And the, the slight vasodilation combined with the more free-flowing blood, that not only lowers blood pressure and people get off their blood pressure pills, but that increases oxygen delivery to the tissues, increases nutrient delivery to the tissues. When you go from animal foods to plant foods, you wind up pulling out the arachidonic acid. This is a powerful omega-6 fatty acid that generates inflammatory prostaglandins in the tissues. Well, you pull that out, you change the fat balance in the tissues, and what you plug in are the plant fats. Many of them are rich in omega-3 fats that have anti-inflammatory properties. So uh, you have changed the fat balance, changed the inflammatory balance in tissues throughout the body. How profound. Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, Western diet with the cooked meats and the processed foods puts a lot of free radicals, these uh, very powerful oxidizing agents, uh, molecules into the tissues. Well, all the fruits and vegetables have antioxidants that neutralize free radicals and lowers oxidative stress. Uh, there's the, um, you change the microbes that live in our gut when you're eating meat and dairy, you spawn pathogenic microbes like the bacteroidetes species. Well, when you pull the meat and dairy out and you put in a high fiber plant-based diet, uh, you foster the growth of beneficial prevotilla microbes. Uh, and they are anti-cancer, they're anti-inflammatory, and they put out more of these neurotransmitters that can improve people's moods and outlooks. And people often say they feel better emotionally on a plant-based diet, probably some solid science behind that as well. Of course, pulling out all the cow cholesterol, chicken cholesterol, pig cholesterol, uh, and the heavy saturated fats going to change the blood lipids, so they'll be less likely to form plaques there. Skin oils change. They're made from the fats in your diet. Guys notice their body odor often disappears. 
Um, when people stop consuming cow's milk made from the milk of pregnant cows, um, their, the estrogen levels fall, IGF-1 levels fall, uh, breast lumps can start to recede, um, the, the, that uh, tumor-promoting uh, uh, effect uh, dissipates. High-protein diets are not gentle with the kidneys. They make the kidneys go into a state of hyperfiltration. It damages them over time. Well, that hyperfiltration disappears now, on every level. The lungs uh, seem to work easier. The asthmatic folks seem to do better. The immune system functions well. Everything changes in the body. It's not uh, a brag or boast to say it changes everything. And, and the the... I could spend three lectures on going through each one of these organ systems to show how changing from an animal-based diet to a plant-based diet benefits these tissues. Uh, it is so profound. Can you get enough protein? Absolutely. People don't think they're going to get quashier core if they don't eat meat. Uh, but, you know, ask any gorilla, ask any buffalo, any giraffe, any elephant. Uh, can you make mammalian muscle out of plant foods only? Well, of course you can. So a, me a day of uh, oatmeal and food for breakfast, uh, lunch of salad, soups, uh, a veggie burger here and a sweet potato dinner, some bean burritos and some green yellow veggies and some fruit with oat milk in the evening. You can easily top 80 grams of protein with that and plenty of fiber. It absolutely is a healthy diet. <laughs>